So I wanna show you a, a little trick and tip today. I screwed this bookcase together and I made some wood plugs, got a 3 8 plug cutter, made the plugs and I glued those and hammered those in and it's been sitting overnight, at least 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this cordless router and I'm going to take some just three quarter inch blocks of wood. They're three quarters by three quarters. They're longer than I need them. They're five inches long, plenty big enough. And I put some double side tape on them. So with the double side tape, I'm going to hopefully peel one side off and I'm going to stick this on here And the goal is to create a raised base so that I can um, trim these screw plugs off um, without trying to sand it. Because if I sand it and I overdo it, you're gonna see dips in the side, especially when I paint the cabinet. Um, so I want them to be pretty darn flush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, so let me get this double side tape off here. Um, there we go. I'm gonna put that out there. I'm gonna set this back on the router. This is a cordless Milwaukee laminate trim router. And I'm gonna adjust the cutter just slightly above where the um, plugs are. So my goal was to set a, a thickness of a business card in there. And I was gonna lower the bit till I hit that. So let's see if I can do that. Dial that down, and you can see there that it's spinning. And it's, I just want it slightly above because I definitely don't want to take that out. So that's too low. Raise that up. I can see the business card fits in there, and I can see here, let's lock the base, that the router bit is not touching or scratching the surface. I'm gonna to try to bring that down a little bit more. Okay, so that's really close. Okay. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to trim that. And I'll do the ones right in front of you. So watch this. Turn the router on. Look at that. Nice and flush. I'm going to sand the rest of that. Come back over here. quick way to trim those and get those nice and then if there's any voids in there I could fill them with some little spackle and I can clean that up after with the sander so I did buy this um, plastic wood never used it before saw it at the hardware store today and it comes in like a tube and I can see here a eh, little bit of a void a little bit, um, some of it may be glue. So I think what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll sand them first and then I'll see what's still left and then I'll fill the rest. So a simple trick, glue, double side tape onto the router base, adjust it and trim those plugs the easy way. And don't sand to get dips in them. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of video, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell and get updates when we post new videos. Thank you.